Um, all right. So let's plow ahead. Let's get to the advice. I hope my voice isn't as annoying as it sounds to me. Um, advice. Oh, man, this is a fucking brutal one. Oh, by the way, for all you Jesus freaks out there, he fucking blew you off again. How does that feel? Huh? Once again. Once again. They sent out the flyers. Everybody was ready. You know? And what happened? He just he just he fucking blew it off again. How many times? This is like fucking watching Charlie Brown try and kick the football. How many times can fucking Lucy pull it out and he lands on his goddamn back? How many times are you guys going to sit there and think this dude is coming back? You know, what's wrong with you? Um, he's not coming back. <laughs> I got to admit, I get a little scared every time. Like, what is he going to be? I just, don't, I just don't fucking believe in any of that. I don't believe that there's this guy who's fucking mad at me. For what? For what? I've been going to therapy and that type of shit. I'm starting to realize the stuff that I did. A lot of it was because some shit that some fucking cunt did to me when I was a kid. So that fucked my brain up. That's my fault. So now you're going to get mad because I went to a fucking titty bar and a bunch of whores are in there that you made. You made them. That's that's where the whole thing breaks down for me. Where I got to be this fucking unbelievable great person. Like, if, if you wanted us to be fucking great people, why didn't you make us great people? I think he's fucking bored. He wanted to see... He wants, like, choice. All right, I'll give him the choice to do the right thing or the wrong thing, and then I'm going to sit there and watch it. Because if I don't... If I just make everybody great, everybody's going to be standing around like those little fucking weirdo things at the end of the Grinch. Holding hands around a Christmas tree going, wahoo, hoorde, wahoo, hoorde, Christmas, whatever the fuck they say. Who the hell would want to live like that? You know, I like the Grinch. I wouldn't go and I wouldn't be in business with the guy. Couldn't trust a fucker like that. But you know what? Hang out with them in a bar. You know, be like, Grinch, look at that chick over there. What do you think about her? And just listen to him go off on her. You just sit there and laugh, you know, as he just disappears into hate. And you look over one of your friends, you know, you shoot him that look where you put your eyebrows up like, it's getting good. It's just getting good. So, once again, he didn't show up. He didn't fucking show up. And then what? All the Bible thumpers got to run around and start adjusting their speeches. Well, see what I was saying. What? Oh, fuck. <coughs> ah. Jesus Christ. You know, most of the times having a beard is fucking awesome because you don't have to fucking shave every day. That's the great thing about having a beard. The bad time is when you got to blow your fucking nose. Ugh, it just ends in your mustache. It's fucking disgusting. All right, what am I talking about? Yeah, what are, what are all, hey, does anybody go to one of those churches where the guy, yeah, you, if you do, you're not listening to this. You're not allowed to, right? Because I'm the devil. Did you fucking grow up? Um. Anyways, let's plow ahead here. He didn't show up. You knew he wasn't going to show. You know what's weird? Do you want to get saved? The only, reason, the only way I want to get saved is if I actually get to, once I get saved and brought up on a cloud, is if I get to look down and watch Jesus just fucking, you know, <laughs> just taking people out. I want He's going to kill all of us? Is that how they're going to do it? I don't know these stories. I don't read that book. Isn't that what he's going to do? He's going to come back. He's coming back like a thief in the night. Thief in the night. Let me see if I can piece this together. Some of the expressions I've heard people say. He's coming back like a thief in the night, okay? And that's when he's going to sneak and take your loved ones and leave you behind. Right? Jesus Christ. It's so fucking childish. They're preying on your, your, your goddamn fear as a kid of being left alone at the mall. Mom? Dad? Jesus? <clears throat> I don't buy it. I don't buy anything when they sell it to me out of fear. Unless we're talking condoms. 